Maybe some can't be saved. Maybe this evil, this malignancy is just too strong. Or is it that sometimes I'm just too late? Or too weak? Some say demons are born from the hearts of men. But I know differently. The proof has always been there, right in front of us. Auschwitz, Columbine, Oklahoma City. All portals from which vile abominations slither into our world. I am one of the chosen to whom the ancient council bestowed an honorable duty to seek out these portals and to exorcise the demons that are born into our world. Years may pass between openings, but I do not become complacent. I am forever vigilant. I am not concerned with worldly possessions and give no thought to my own comfort and happiness. Hey, buddy. You can't sleep here. City ordinance. You're gonna have to move on. God provides what I need. I'm not hurting anyone. You got a problem. I'm here in Harbor Town, where just yesterday, a husband and father was charged with the deaths of his entire family. The names are not being released at this time. As you can see behind me, evidence is still being gathered in this bizarre case. Where early reports have indicated that the suspect's wife and two children appear to have been poisoned. According to an investigator, the suspect himself called the police, who upon arriving at the scene, found the suspect sitting at the kitchen table, surrounded by his family, two of whom were slumped in their chairs, and one who was lying on the floor. They appear to have been dead for at least two days. For more on this terrible tragedy, Please stay tuned to this channel. We'll have more updates as they come in. I'm Lisa Renard for C19 News. Harbor Town. They're coming. Hey, buddy, that'll be 250. Watch his family die an agonizing death while he quietly enjoys a steak and glass of wine. That man will be called a monster, evil, depraved. But he had no control over his actions. What that man did was like a tremor before an earthquake or the lightning before the thunder. Eventually, the earthquake becomes reality and the thunder does roll.
portal is near, and its opening is imminent. I can feel it. I know you. And I've seen them too. Something's on its way to Harbor Town. And it's coming for you, Steven. The portal is open. The evil is here. Once again, the slaves of Mastiff fill my head with their profanities. They mock me, curse me. They try to break my spirit and divert my attention away from the more vile, the more powerful demons that are slithering through the portal. Jezebel, the demon of lies. Observers, minions of Jezebel. Unseen, they live among the flock. Forever watching. Watching me. Well, hello, Steven. I must look hideous. Human sight is a little overrated, don't you think? I'm afraid we're gonna have to reschedule. Bring it on, bitch! It's time, it's as if a part of my soul is taken. Even in defeat. The demon claims a victory.
Agrat Bat Malat, one of Satan's wives and the demoness of horse. I need you now, Stephen. <laughs> Put that thing away. Put it away. Come to me, Stephen. Please. I cast you out, unclean spirit, and all the satanic powers of the enemy. Ooh, don't forget the litany of the saints, Stephen. Do it right, for God's sake. Every specter from hell and all your fell companions, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, be gone and stay far away from this creature of God. I love this evil. For it is he who commands you. I do thirsty. He who flung you headlong from the heights of heaven to the depths of hell, he commands you. insist on continually killing each other. They at least can do it at a decent hour. You're all heart, Detective. You're damn right. You good, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... I mean, this shit kind of fucked up that guy's night over there, too. What's his story? Well, our vic over here is Emily Drake, and our dead perp is her ex, Stephen Drake. So what, he came here to take her out? Yeah, but McCready took him down first. You mean him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks like he's about to spew his weeds. So this guy's a local. He was a local and one of the town's success stories, as you can see. You know what I always say. Crazy don't discriminate. Mm -hmm. You knew this guy, Ryan? Right? Well, I knew of him. There was a case involving Stephen Drake some years ago. It was before he transferred here, but neither Emily or anybody in Harbor Town has seen him since that night. Why is that? Five years ago, Stephen Drake's parents were found brutally murdered inside their home. No one was ever charged, and the only person of interest disappeared off the face of the earth. Stephen Drake. Stephen Drake. All right, I'm gonna take a wild guess at this. This guy suffers from a long history of mental illness, right? As a matter of fact, less than two hours ago, Drake's former therapist, Marilyn Jennings, uh -huh. she was found carved up like a Thanksgiving turkey. God, you want me to canvas the neighbors? Yes, do that. I'm gonna have another talk with our book. This will all be over soon. In the beginning, we really did love each other. By the end, his madness just consumed us. All he would talk about was death and demons. Yeah, it's a shame nobody ever listens. <laughs> 